Hello everyone, this is Minoxin coming to you with my second video commentary replay. Uh, this is a match featuring a couple of players from Fnatic MSI, both Rexy and Trixie, playing on opposite teams uh, for the sake of auto balance, I believe. And then also Delirium Gaming's Pi, we'll just say. Um, it looks like it should be an interesting game, uh, just from the brief little glimpse that I got at the items and things. I didn't, I do not know who wins this match yet. I did not go ahead and click that little button to hear that. So uh, we will see where this road takes us. But let's get to the bands. Uh, we have Kronos right off the bat, of course, the mega hard carry that he is. Nobody wants to have to go up against Kronos, so get him out of the way. Uh, and then they also went Witch Slayer. Uh, Dr. Repulsor, Devour, I thought was maybe a little bit of an odd choice there. I probably would have gone Nymphora myself, but that's just because I've seen her in several matches perform very well recently, uh, where she's a key instrument in the uh, victory for the team that she happens to be on. Uh, just a little afraid of her right now. We'll see how Trixie does. A very solid player, Trixie, there, so I don't think she'll have, or he will have any problem um, playing as Nymphora there. But then also to round out the bands, we've got Madman and Glacius. So <clears throat> we'll see uh, how those bands play into this match. But let's go ahead and look at the picks here. Uh, we have Rexy from Fnatic MSI picking Engineer, followed by Slither, Pharaoh, Magmus, and Pyromancer. Um, not a bad matchup here. I'm not liking it per se, um, unless they're going to have Slither do a little bit more of a carry role here. Um, Engineer is a good carry, but I just don't think that they have the muscle power that they might ultimately end up needing here, but we will see. Uh, follow it up on the Hellborn side, Nymphora, Swiftblade, Behemoth, Valkyrie, and Plague Rider. Um, liking this matchup a bit more, mostly of course I'm a, a little bit leery of that Nymphora um, being on either team. Uh, that'll, that'll put some points on their side for me. Uh, but uh, that just that mobility, the ultimate on Nymphora is able to move those players around on the map so quickly, get them where they need to be to continue ganking and continue uh, <clears throat> pushing. Uh, but let's go ahead and look at their hard carry here. They've got Swiftblade as their hard carry. Uh, definitely like that as a hard carry. He's always good. Uh, can't really complain. Has the magic immunity, etc., etc. Let's go ahead and see if I get this match started here. If I can find my play button. I did download the new... Um, mod, uh, the Spectator UI mod, I'm uh, not sure if I got everything I need, I guess we'll find out here when I get in game. Again, just starting here, uh, based off of picks alone, I am going to see about leaning it towards the Hellborn here, um, just like their carry and some of their support and uh, nukage a little bit better here. So we'll see how this works into the actual game, if I can get it started here, looks like we have a slow loader. Okay, well, let's get things going. <laughs> uh, of course, burning up that initial mana so that way they can just sit in here and regenerate it. There's no big rush to get out into the field. Okay, they've got the um, <clears throat> courier from Pyromancer, of course. I'm going to be currying the supplies back and forth to the team. Let's move this replay control out of the way here. Get started. Let's see, who do we have running top here? Swiftblade. Going to be going for the top rune, most likely. Look for initial gank. Um, something along those lines. We have Engineer and Pharaoh uh, going top, along with Slither. Might see a tri-lane here top. Or Engineer could be going middle. Yeah, I am guess Engineer is going to be going middle, but he is going to keep an eye on this rune uh, for the potential initial gank. And then we have Valkyrie and Behemoth going bottom. I like that combo there. Uh, Valkyrie will probably most likely be the target of most of their initiations because she does have lower HP, but she does have that escape mechanism in her leap, so she might be able to get out of harm's way. Looks like we're going to have a little clash up here up top. Um, Gray has spotted these players. He's going to go in. Oh, spins perfectly to dodge the poison. No, he didn't dodge it, maybe. No, he did dodge it. Um, but the problem being is that he still bumped into Pharaoh's Wall of Mummies. Pharaoh picking up Wall of Mummies is his first move uh, to keep those... Uh, melee uh, heroes off of uh, him and his allies. The last game I cast, he uh, successfully landed several of those to save his teammate and save himself. Uh, we do have the creep block here um, from the Legion side. They're going to try and stop that creep pull so they don't have that advantage to pull the creeps, get back to their tower to where they can defend better and have the advantage on their side. 
But uh, we've got Plague Rider and Swift Blade up here. Uh, the babysitter being Plague Rider and Swift Blade being the car carry that he's going to try and keep up here and keep in the lane, keep assisted as much as possible. And then we have Pharaoh and Slither up here as the counter. Not sure terribly how effective that choice will be, but I mean, Pharaoh and Slither, they're both pretty solid. Uh, you've got Pharaoh to save Slither on many accounts, I'm sure. Oh, wow, throwing down the <clears throat> the turret here, trying to keep that Nymphora at bay. Uh, not really taking too much of her HP. She's probably going to throw down a Volatile Pod here in the next couple of seconds, or pop a Health Potion, apparently, um, and get healed up in no time. Meanwhile, down here versus Valkyrie and Behemoth, we have Magmus and Pyromancer. Uh, another good combination. Double stuns there. Can't go wrong with double stuns. Gotta love that. Uh, but Behemoth and Valkyrie, if they can manage to land the Behemoth stun followed by a five-second Valkyrie arrow, they're going to be in good shape. Oh, we have uh, Swiftblade sneaking up around here, landing the spin on this Slither. He might just end up catching Slither. No, he's going to get caught in Pharaoh's uh, wall of mummies here. And Pharaoh using his little mini stun, Hellfire. Oh, it looks like Slither's going to get away. He's going to manage to get... Why did he... Oh, he ducked down into the woods there. Horrible choice. He did turn around to try and get a land on that uh, Plague Rider, and ultimately that did hit, uh, did do some damage there. And now we're uh, left with a Pharaoh at low HP and a... Swift Blade at low HP. That was an interesting exchange. Really thought Slither could have made it out of there. Uh, instead, he decided to turn around and get one more hit on that Plague Rider. I uh, don't think it was probably the best choice of trades, but we will see. Um, okay. Looks like Magmus and Pyromancer are going to get a little help here from Slither going for a jump on uh, Behemoth. Looks like they're uh, starting out on Behemoth here. Going to land every single thing here. Oh, the poison comes off. Perfect timing, so they can't get away. Going to land that slow on him. I don't think it's going to be enough damage to kill that Behemoth. Uh, no, he is going to make it away, but uh, he's definitely going to have to go back and get some healing uh, accomplished there. Meanwhile, top here, uh, Pharaoh missing his Slither buddy, uh, getting pushed back to his own tower uh, by the Swift Blade and the now-resurrected Plague Rider. He's sitting pretty low on HP, so I'm not sure how uh, how effective he's going to be. Yeah, he is backing up and is going to get healed or pick up some items there in base. Uh, <clears throat> just doesn't want to mess with the courier, most likely. Okay, Slither is going to be attacking them four here. Not going to really do much. I don't think that... Attacking them four is probably one of the most... Oh, never mind. Uh, Engineer with the assist there from the side. Going <laughs> to... Oh... Man, I really thought if Engineer had maybe come up there and decided to tank a little bit of the tower, land a couple extra hits on that, he probably, they most, um, I'm definitely going to say, they most certainly would have managed to have killed them four on that. Instead, her teammate coming in with the TP, landing his Fisher just perfectly, uh, taking down Slither. Uh, Slither had that in the bag, uh, especially after Engineer uh, decided to intervene. But Engineer just not wanting to risk coming up any further there, playing a little bit smarter probably than Slither. Uh, so they should have uh, taken it what he had and just gotten out of there uh, double damage rune has spawned bottom they do have vision of that from their ward here <clears throat> it looks like Nim4 is going to come down and pick that up and we have a pause in the game okay well I'm not sure exactly what that was I'm sorry I had to pull up the replay controls there um, but not really sure what was going on. I could not fast forward through that pause. Uh, that was extremely annoying. Oh, and we have Pharaoh and Swiftblade dancing around here in the woods. Looks like Swiftblade's going to get taken down here. I uh, don't think he's going to be able to escape. Not with that Slither pecking away. Yep, he's not going to get out of there. Uh, good baiting by Pharaoh on that and good support from Slither. Uh, They're going to try and run down Plague Rider here. It's a little gutsy. Yep, they are going to get out, though. Luckily, the tower did switch from Pharaoh to Slither there, balancing the damage out between the two of them. That top lane just not having any luck whatsoever. Keeping down that Swift Blade uh, so far is going to really help out the uh, Legion side because uh, Swift Blade is their <clears throat> primary carry here. So we will just have to see... Uh that is one thing I have noticed since Engineer has had this recent rework uh, to where his turret does so much more damage uh, it's just ridiculous the amount of damage that that turret can output uh, it's still probably not quite to the level that it was whenever his items took into account 
uh, the damage and everything for his turret, but still it is much more deadly than the last uh, incarnation of it. Uh, we're going to see a jump attempt here. Nope, actually that was Behemoth having spotted Magmus off to the side there, notifying his teammate, letting him know that we don't want to go over too close to that direction, else we might end up getting caught in the fray. Nymphora staying good in good health here, middle. That volatile pod being huge. Uh, engineer just trying to plink off a little bit of extra damage. Not to really any good effect, I wouldn't imagine. With her uh, mana battery type status, that she can just keep refilling her mana constantly. She's going to be a really hard person to take down middle. Oh, Pharaoh casting his move to save himself. Uh, creating a little bit of an advantage here. Uh, looks like they might catch Plague Rider if they can catch up. Uh... I'm going to think that, yeah, they, they got him. Oh, wow. Yep, that was that was actually another brilliant move um, <clears throat> from uh, Delirium Gaming's uh, Pi. They're throwing up the Wall of Mummies to block the Swift Blade. And then, of course, uh, Plague Rider had overextended himself just a little too far, getting caught. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, not a place you want to be. But we have an excellent uh, synchronization of these two heroes here uh, between the, the luring of Pharaoh and the slowing of Slither, just making it so that those guys cannot escape. Uh, Swiftblade, speaking of escape, probably going to need to uh, leave those uh, neutrals alone there. Playing it gutsy, going to take one more hit there, going to try and micro these guys back, hit them one at a time, doesn't want to go back anymore. They did go ahead and ultimately get... Uh, Trixie there with Nymphora. Uh, the double stun combo, I'm sure, is probably what landed that for him. Sorry I didn't catch that. I was too busy watching him run away. And where's this missile going to land? Bam! It actually does land home. <clears throat> so a little bit of an assist there from Pharaoh, who is currently uh, heading back to base. So they're just checking top room. Knows that it's now bottom. Uh, doesn't know that it's an invisibility room, but letting his teammates know... Meanwhile, he is sitting up here for a possible gank, it looks like. Waiting for an opportunity to team up with Engineer. Engineer's going to extend himself out here. Slither's not in the greatest position to be able to help him out, though. He's going to have to run a long ways. I think Nymphora is probably going to escape out of here. Uh, yep, she is going to get out of here. She's got teammate coming in. Behemoth's going to get the kill. Oh, Hellborn actually going to get the kill. Um, just a bad overall choice on gank there. Yeah, bad timing, bad choice, bad everything. Uh, <clears throat> you had Engineer come in here a little bit early while Slither was still way out of position. Uh, needed to move in there, try and synchronize up their movements so that way as Engineer ran down to get his ult off, maybe Slither could have come in with the long poison, shot that out there, got him slowed so he wouldn't have uh, gotten out of that quite so quickly. Uh, but yeah, ultimately a bad choice in gank there. Just a little uh, poor choice on syn synchronization between the two heroes. Uh, not like what we've been seeing up here between Pharaoh and Slither. Uh, they've been doing a, a very good job so far. <laughs> uh, sorry again, missing more action down at the bottom. Uh, Pharaoh and Magmus managing to pick off uh, poor Behemoth there. Looks like he was pretty uh, far in front of the uh, tower here, though. So not too terribly difficult of a gank to land when they're out just that far. That turret coming into a really big part of the pushing game here for uh, the Legion. Uh, I just love that new uh, engineer ta uh, turret. I think it's probably a little overpowered, but ultimately... Oh, the ultimate from Pharaoh. Going to catch his plague rider. He's not getting out. Uh, another good combination with the stun slow. Uh, Slither and Pharaoh just keeping these guys down up here. Uh, they're going to try and get something off on this combination. I don't know if it's going to work. Uh, Swiftblade probably going to go for his ultimate here if he catches this Pharaoh off by himself. Pharaoh doing a great job to evade so far. I don't think he's going to be able to escape this behemoth though and ultimately yes he is going to eat all of Swiftblade's ultimate but Slither to the rescue coming in throwing up a slow uh, ward to catch <laughs> to catch Slither off guard, and now Behemoth in a place he really, really does not want to be with no mana, stuck back here in the back of this uh, forest, desperately trying to find some way out of here. The Legion team trying to get back to him. I guess they're just going to assume that he has either escaped with a TP 